When is Sonic Runners coming to Godot? That's a good question. Yeah, the Unity drama. I mean, I'm sure I don't need to catch you up on that. I'm sure you've all heard about it. Thankfully, it's not going to affect Sonic Runners at all because it's built with Unity 4. I doubt they're going to enforce anything for Unity 4. But even if that wasn't the case, Runners does not make $100,000 in revenue. It doesn't meet any of the thresholds. I mean, I don't think Runners makes any money at all, actually. Sonic Runners was deemed a failure in, in Japan. I love that this is uh, public, so stalling titles. Less than 50 million yen, more than 30 million yen. Now, as we all know, yen is not a lot of money. That's about, yeah, uh, $200,000. I get it, you know, for a, for a big company, that's not much. I look at this and I'm just like, well, that's still enough to pay a programmer to keep maintaining it. But, you know, I get it that for a big company, that's not a lot of money. It is, however, it is over the, the threshold for Unity. And so I kind of wonder about like, um, oh, is it actually only 200,000 now? I thought it was uh, 100,000 still. Oh, but they, uh, no, they would have had Pro. And we know that because they used plugins that are only available uh, in Unity Pro. And it's a real problem for us because um, for us to use the free version, we don't have access to those plugins. So we may have needed to get the Pro version through other means but I won't go into it. So they, they wouldn't have hit this threshold. If they were using the personal version, they would have, but just barely, apparently. The reason I wondered was just like, you know, clearly they killed off the game because it wasn't doing very well. And I just thought to myself, well, I wonder if it would have been killed off sooner because of this, because I mean, it is a price increase, you know, and clearly they feel like it's not doing well. Piracy, how awful. I'm just gonna say it, it's Unity 4. You can't even download Unity 4 off the website anymore, just barely. So like, I don't think, I don't think anyone's gonna mind. Now, you can get older versions. There's a, like a link somewhere. Yeah, there's like a forum thread. It's from someone from Unity. It's like some, we sometimes get requests for the early versions. So they've just posted a random forum thread with the direct links. They're still on the website, but I don't even know if you can get here from the actual site. You just have to like randomly stumble upon this forum thread. Anyway, I'm allowing myself to admit that because I don't think it matters. I don't think they care at all. Archive the thread. It's probably not a bad idea. Actually, we should probably like archive all these links. I doubt they're going to host them forever. Usually's going to charge me the stream. Uh oh. Oh shit. Never mind. I wasn't looking at anything. Ignore that. Here's another th uh, unlisted thing on the Unity website. So you go to Unity Docs. The documentation, once again, only goes back to about 5.2. But Here's the real tip. Go up here, 520 in the URL. We want 4.6 for Sonic Runners. It's still here. There's just no link to it. I feel like the Unity web maintainers just never delete anything. They just like unlisted. For a long time, we just we were just like, there's no, there is no 4.6 documentation, but no, it is there. Bunch of bullshit. Here's the real tip. True. We're showing tips live on stream. Just dump all the links on the internet. I wonder if you can. If you just archive that page, I'm gonna guess they wouldn't automatically archive a bunch of one to two gigabyte files. You might have to do that manually. Go w get the page in a way to follow and get the file downloads. Yeah, that's true. Um, that might be a good way to do it like locally. I don't know if you can do that with uh, archives at all, but yeah, that's probably a good way to do it. I think it would be great for Godot. I mean, Godot is used in like, I know that Godot was used for Sonic Colors Ultimate, for like the graphics. It wasn't used for all of it. It wasn't a full port to Godot, but it was used for like the graphics stuff. And that's really cool. So clearly it's like pretty capable. Don't get me started on Sonic Colors Ultimate, drives me mental. Is, there, is it that like messy? I don't know a ton about it apart from like the controversies of the time, like the graphics going like haywire on the, on the Switch version and the fact that they didn't license Godot properly or something like that. Like I assume Godot is capable if they've used it for the graphics on there. So yeah. It might be it's time to shine. Unity's base will like splinter into like people using Godot and then the high-end people using Unreal. I mean, I don't have a problem with that. What I love about Unreal is that I keep hearing about it not even in the context of making games. I he keep hearing about it in like the context of making movies. Like they'll make these incredible things in, in uh, Unreal and it'll, you know, movie quality graphics like Mandalorian and shit, I think. Or like motion capture, you can do that in Unreal now. That's some good shit, apparently. I've never used it, but um, yeah. It only needs a lot of work before it's production ready, but it's pretty good rather in when you work around its missing features. Hell yeah. I mean, I feel like you could say that about just about any uh, open source software.